Welcome to my channel. I'm Danny Walker. I was Miss Montana USA 2018 and I am a pageant coach. So today's episode is all about what outfits not to buy for your pageant. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and follow me on social media at Danny Walker. This past summer, I went to a pageant and I am not exaggerating. I saw five girls lined up getting ready to compete that were wearing the exact same outfit. And I know why they're wearing it. They're wearing it because they are new contestants and they get general instructions from a pageant to dress professionally or wear an evening gown that is like something you would wear to prom. And they have no idea where to start their search looking for a pageant wardrobe. So I wanted to talk about a few pieces that I see time and time again and also pieces that people message me constantly and they're always asking, is this okay? Can I wear this for my pageant? These are just general guidelines none of what I'm saying today is set in stone but it's just something to think about if you want to make sure that when you show up to your next pageant or competition that you are not wearing this exact same dress or outfit as another contestant because all of us want to stand out right we want to be unique and I think that these outfits that I'm gonna mention are a bit overused in pageantry Make sure to stick around till the end of this episode because I'm going to share with you an awesome freebie that you can use when you go shopping for your next dress. The first outfit we're gonna talk about today is a girl's interview outfit. If you search on Amazon, girl's interview suit or girl's suit, something like that, you are going to find this outfit, which is probably why I see it so many times. I've seen it in every single color, and when I see little girls pageants, this seems to be the outfit that everybody goes for. And I get it, it's easy to find, but it's also a very common outfit. And unfortunately, when you actually receive this this piece, the fit of it is not so great. Typically the top of it, so the jacket, is too long on contestants and the skirt ends up sitting low on their hips when really it should be altered to their waist. So this is not an outfit that I think particularly complements any contestant and also it is really overused. Now let's talk about an overused interview outfit for our junior teens, teen, and Miss Divisions. Calvin Klein has tons of great colorful styles for pageant contestants many of which I love, some of which I have worn, but this is a dress that is a bit dated and I see it a lot in pageants. I think we continue to see it because girls wear it for a pageant and then they sell it to another contestant. I see this dress in a multitude of colors and I just don't think it does much to demonstrate a contestant's personal sense of style. I also think it tends to look a little bit older and more mature. This is one that I would say to skip. Moving along to gown styles. This first gown style that I'm showing you is this burgundy type of dress. This is something that we see a lot on sites like Macy's, which is where I found this one. I see contestants at pageants wearing this style of dress at the wrong time. First of all, this is a really dark color for a young contestant, so I would never let one of my clients wear this dark color to any pageant, any event, under no circumstances are we wearing a dress like this. Sometimes we see girls wearing this style for formal wear, and and honestly, for a pageant, it's actually underdressed. So this is not something that I would ever let a girl wear for a formal wear competition, even if it was in an amazing, beautiful color on her skin tone. This dress just does not stand up to true pageant brand gowns on stage. And if you guys want to learn more about pageant dress designers for younger contestants, you can check out this video that I will link right up here. Next are two styles that I find very commonly on Amazon. My issue with these two dresses is that if you search for pageant girls dresses, these two are gonna pop up on the first or second page. The photos of them online are decent, but the quality of these two styles in person does not meet up to the photo that you see online. Now the other issue here is that because these two styles are so easy to find, we see these styles a lot at pageants. I've had a client to ask me, can I wear this dress to compete in? And I always say no, just because of the number of people that ask me about these styles and also the amount of contestants that I see wearing these two styles at pageants. I've personally also never seen any contestant win wearing one of these styles. If these tips are helping you so far, comment wardrobe down below. Last, we're gonna talk about gowns for our junior teen, teen, and Miss Divisions. When you first start out in pageants, a lot of the times, like I 
I said, you don't know where to shop for gowns. So one of the first places that girls go to in their hometown is a bridal shop. And they end up opting for a bridesmaid gown because if you go to a bridal shop, most dresses are gonna be in white and it's a wedding gown and they're gonna be pricey. So girls instead choose to buy a bridesmaid's dress. And I would say stay away from any dresses that look like this. They will not help you to stand out on stage. They don't come in great colors that look awesome on a pageant stage. Remember, these are bridesmaids dresses. The purpose of them is not to stand out, it's just to compliment the bride on her big day. These gowns are actually trying to achieve the opposite of what you want for pageants. They're trying to blend in to be more subtle so that the focus is all on the bride and we don't want that. We want you to shine on stage. Another thing is that girls will take these dresses and they think that just by adding a rhinestone belt it's really dressing it up and ladies I'm telling you it's just not enough for the pageant stage. And I get why you're doing that. It's usually because these dresses don't come with any rhinestones or any adornments. And like I said, that's because they are not created to stand out. Those are the outfits I've seen at pageants which are overused and ineffective. So I would suggest steer clear of those styles. And since you stuck around till the end of this episode, my special thanks to you is to click the description below and you're going to find a link where you can download my dress guide, which is going to give you more pointers when you go out shopping for your dream dress. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you joining me today. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell as well as follow me on social media at Danny Walker and tune in for next week's episode.